Today we're here in Arlington, Tennessee, and uh, you know we were here not too long ago, and it has grown a lot even since then. Yeah, even just like in the last six to twelve months, right, Jared? Yeah, absolutely. And you know you got the old stuff here, the old part of town, the little stuff which which I love, but you got a lot of new development and uh, just really hundreds of new homes being built. Yeah, they're all over the place. Subdivisions are popping up everywhere, and and, and a, a wide range of price points too. Yeah, and what I want to do in this video is kind of give you some of those to compare, maybe at that lower end, probably the entry level, about the mid threes, and then get on up closer to 600000 and let you tell me, what do you think is the best value? What do you think is going to give you the best bang for your buck, and uh, just that cost of living yeah. lifestyle that you want? Uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to compare three different neighborhoods here, and uh, we're not saying they're the best or worst or anything. We're just kind of giving options. you some options. I mean, yeah. there's a lot to choose from. We just kind of pick three at random. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right, y'all, our first Arlington neighborhood that we're going to be looking at today. This one is the Villages of Summer Meadows. Get, That's right. Villages <laughs> of Summer Meadows. Name right. Villages of Summer Meadows. It's it's going to be our kind of an entry level starting point for Arlington. What, about the mid threes, mid, about 350. Yeah, I think that you can. I think there's one in here from now for 350. I've seen a few sales, maybe a little higher than that. Not much more though. Yeah, so that's kind of where you're starting at here in Arlington, and you're getting homes that, let's say, probably built. What do you think? Uh, when were most of these built? Early 2000s? Yeah, these homes were mostly constructed in the early 2000s. Um, they're around 1,800 to 2,200 square foot. Most mm -hmm. of them three beds with a bonus or four beds, um, two, two and a half baths. Yeah, so you're you're getting a decent amount of space. Might, maybe not the brand new homes like, like you're going to see later on in this video um, at some of those different price point levels, but you're still getting a relatively newer home it's not just an old old home that you're getting here for that that kind of that mid 300 350 yeah. price point these and are nice homes Jared. i mean they're mostly brick homes they're all on a slab a concrete slab like i said a lot of them have that second story bonus room with an extra bath upstairs so these are nice entry level homes to get into arlington yeah and as far as the neighborhood you don't have a you know a lot of frills you don't have the pool really no um you know some of those things you do get on some of the more expensive neighborhoods with you know and some of those have higher hoa fees too they so do, yeah so um i don't but know it's a great location this neighborhood you're right by the high school there you've got the ball fields really near here um not too far to the depot square so everything's really nice nicely located centrally located to this neighborhood and if you are relocating to memphis don't forget to reach out to us text or call me at the number below i want to talk to you let's start that process of moving you right here to memphis all right y'all this one is myers park here in arlington and uh you can see you've got some amenities pool here over behind us here and you see the houses what we got here in this neighborhood Chris um, these are brand new grant homes one of the best builders in Memphis um, the price point start in the mid fours right to, to right below six um, great area all new brand new homes beautiful interiors hardwood floors uh, garden tubs big kitchen islands with granite on top and just a beautiful design in all of these homes now would you say all of these are they like the i mean some of them are kind of like the zero lot line you've got like alleyway access some of them like these you see behind us aren't yeah so some of them are front load garages a lot of them have the alleyway access like you mentioned like you mentioned one of the cool parts about this neighborhood jared there is an hoa obviously mm -hmm. the hoa covers everything all the lawn maintenance treating for the weeds they cut the grass they mulch the flower beds twice a year um i think that's yeah. a big benefit for some people right? yeah cause, I mean you know a lot of times you're paying for the HOA and you're wondering what are they doing you know <laughs> well that's this you know what they're doing you've got a big common area here you've got the community pool the lawn care that I mentioned and there is there's even going to be a little playground that they're adding to um, one of the next phases of the development yeah, and they're still building back here I mean and you're you're close to uh, the schools and I mean everything yeah so close. Arlington school some of the best in the state um, you got the middle school just right here the elementary is five minutes away the high school is five minutes away in addition to that you've got that local farmer market around mm -hmm. the corner um it's right by the um the arlington depot we're right near there soccer fields tennis courts baseball fields everything is within five minutes of this location yeah and uh, a nice thing here too we actually just had a uh, another youtube client that actually moved here we did uh they just closed here they were nice enough to let us uh give you a little tour of their house so uh what you see now we'll go ahead and pop this up here this is uh it's a grand home mm -hmm. here um uh, this one, that mid four price point. What's the size on this one? Um, I think, don't get me wrong, it's three bedrooms plus a lofted bonus space. Put the stats, we'll get them and pop them up so you see them here on the video. But but you see here just the nice finishes there, um, all the flooring, and they're pretty spacious here. Even though, you know, the lot may be a little smaller, you get a lot of room inside the house. And um, 
It's just the homes nice. are big and open. When you walk in them, they're open, high ceilings, smooth ceilings, crown molding everywhere. I mean, they're really well built, well designed homes in this neighborhood. Hey y'all, you like these videos where we're actually getting you out, taking you around and showing you around all these different cities, suburbs, and neighborhoods where we're doing these videos all the time. You gotta get down and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so when they come out, you don't miss them. And last up for today, we're out here in Wilson Lake and uh, I'm gonna spin around real quick. Sorry I left you behind, Chris. Uh, brand new neighborhood. Brand new. We've Not a, got five, six total in here so far. Yes, yeah, so uh, there's there's these here. There's a few more back over there, and uh, we're. We're not quite, we're just a little bit below 600, I think about 570-ish yeah, for these. Right around 570, 580 for these new builds. Um, big homes, four beds, three baths. Nice builds, right? Open floor yeah. plans. Yeah, really open. Um, I mean, it's four beds, I think one, like there had a bonus room too. I don't know if they all do. But yeah, it was four beds, three baths, plus the large bonus room. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, you've got plenty of space in these houses and, and you're still close to everything here in Arlington, just like we were in those. I mean, it's not a huge area. No, Arlington's really. a nice little town. It's, it's not a, a large area, although it's growing quite a bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything seems to be brand new. Yeah, when you drive through here, there's, I mean, we're only showing you so much in a video, but there's a good bit of new construction going on uh, here in Arlington. And speaking of that, since these are new, um, they're actually, they actually are open. Chris, you wanna go inside and take a look at one? Yeah, let's go check this one out. Now this one is pretty open, like we were saying, and uh, sorry for the echo, but uh, big, uh, Big living space here. Yeah, I think this is the pinnacle of the open floor plan right here, right? Yeah, this is what they meant when they said open floor plan. You got tons of room here. You got the the high ceilings up there too, and, and the kitchen's pretty nice. You got the looks like quartz. I guess I'm gonna say quartz. Yeah, I think it's quartz countertops. Got a farm sink there, a nice tile backsplash. So you got stainless steel farm sink. Got a nice double man here, Jerry. Check this out. Good bit of pantry space. Spacious primary bedroom here too, and uh, the ensuite. Have you seen this, Chris? Yeah, that's a nice bath in this house. Yeah, check this out. You got a huge shower in here. Go on there, Chris, for some uh, for some size comparison here. How tall are you, Chris? Six two. Six two. Perfect. Plenty of room. Plenty of closet space in here too. Got your window out to the front. And then you got a, another bedroom, bathroom there. Your three bedrooms or two bedrooms. Bonus room upstairs. Plus another full bath upstairs. So you got all that all that here. And I, I guess we don't know the square footage, but it's it feels pretty big and open in here. You got more than enough room. There's a bonus on this one, Jared. $7,500 builder incentive on this house. That's not bad. Well, that's just one of them here in this neighborhood. And uh, one of, honestly, again, not too many. It's a, it's a fairly new neighborhood, but let us know what you thought of that in the comments. Um, and there's not much built out here yet, but there are some things coming to yeah. this neighborhood. Yeah, uh, obviously more homes, but there's also gonna be a nice walking trail in the area. You've got a huge lake over there. And I think my favorite part is the basketball court. Yeah, that's uh, it's something you don't see them put in neighborhoods a lot for some reason, I don't know. We need more basketball courts in neighborhoods, guys. Yeah, I agree. If you're a developer, listen to this. <laughs> basketball court. Especially in Memphis, right? Why not? Why not? But yeah, the, and the walking trail too, I think it connects, because I mean, the depot square we were at, it's literally right over the, to the tree line. So you've got a walking trail on over there. Yeah. And I think this is supposed to connect right to that. You've got the youth soccer fields over there as well, where like the Parks and Recreation play their soccer games on the weekends and practices all week. You've also got the farmer's market there. So really close to all the attractions there in local uh, downtown Arlington. Yeah, so what do y'all think? This is kind of three different price points. Which one do you think is the best value for you? Which one uh, would you be the most interested in? Let us know in the comments. And if you really want to look at one, well, you know what to do. Yeah, you got to reach out to me, guys. Give me a call or text at the number below. We want to talk to you. That's right, y'all. So uh, if you want to know, though, this is something unique I thought about as we were making this. You know, we did a video in the past about getting into a new construction neighborhood, especially one that you're getting into early like this one. There's some things to be aware of and some things that you might not like, but actually some things that really might benefit you, too. Yeah, check this video out, guys. Right there. See y'all there.